Hey guys, it's been a crazy, crazy six months. I debate about whether or not to even come here this year. It's because of everything that's everything that's happened, but I like owe it to you guys to show you what's new and what's changed at Lagoon since the whole pandemic started. One thing that's changed is face masks. Face masks are required on the park and in queue lines. And another thing that's changed is the social distance signs everywhere and the little stay six feet apart dots that are on the ground in the queue lines and, and on the midway. It's pretty crazy. Also looks like uh, Pioneer Village got a new sign. That's where I'm heading now, heading into Pioneer Village to see if there's anything else that's new around the park. So from where I am right now, there's a little A-frame sign that says we are open. I'm not sure what's open at the moment because I can't see that far. But once we get up close, we shall see what it is. Uh, that's for the, the old timey Pioneer Photo Gallery. It's open. Wow, so right now, Pioneer Village does actually look like a ghost town. Nobody in sight. Now let's hope the, the circus museum is open so we can check in on our little buddy Dexter. If you don't remember our pal Dexter, go down into my videos down below. It should be the Freaky Friday one where me and Spencer switch places. And Dexter sends us a strange text that tells us how to switch back. All right, the circus museum is open. Now, in here, during the summer, it can get very, very hot. Let's see if it's the same way. Oh, wow, nice. I see got some air conditioning going on in here. It's nice. Doesn't look like anything's changed in here so far. Our buddy Dexter is in view. This is our buddy Dexter. Hey, buddy. Now it was in here. Right about in here. That one year, when I first started doing paranormal investigations, really started getting into all that paranormal stuff, that was right here. They changed out the dolls, did they? I'm not sure, anyway. Right about in here, that got a sing-song kind of voice that said, Lana. So that's pretty weird. And it was like two years ago, same place, same exact spot. Got a, a whisper. So, thinking Circus Museum is pretty, pretty haunted. Let's head on into the carriage barn. Check out the hearse. Do they have two? No, I think they just have one hearse. But in here, this is where the the cats hang out, or used to hang out. I'm not sure if they still do or not. But the reason I like this place is for this view right here. Look at that view. And if the water's high enough, you can hear the, the creeks running by. As you can see, I'm not sure if you can or not, there's looks like a cow or something just right there. Yeah, it's pretty nice and quiet in here, and the hearse is just in view. There it is, the hearse. For a long time, like upstairs, there's a an office upstairs, but right here, 
You think down in the bottom of the second stair there used to be used to be a little hole that the cats would go in. But so far I haven't seen any cats. It still smells like cats in here. That's pretty cool. That's like right here. It's a hearse. Old timey hearse. Me being a huge Disney fan that I am. See that hearse? Reminds me of the one that's outside the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland that's said to have been the very same hearse used to carry Brigham Young through the streets of Salt Lake. This is not true. Brigham Young was carried on the it's like on a flatbed kind of thing on a carriage, like a flatbed carriage and transported to the streets of Salt Lake. And one of these days when I don't really care if I get shot in the face or not I will show you the final resting place of Brigham Young. Because Brigham Young, like where he's buried, is like in the center of stab you in the face, Salt Lake. I don't feel like getting stabbed in the face right now. Look at this. It's no longer a river. It looks more like a stream or a creek right now. It's so low. Holy cow. Here, Utah needs some rain and quick. Guys. If I see what I think I'm seeing, I'm getting the trucks ready for frightmares. Uh, they have the like everything for frightmares for the the haunted walkthroughs. I hope they have them this year. I hope they have them. Everybody wear masks so they don't cancel frightmares. But anyway. Get close enough. Yes. Okay. I will show you the side and then show you what I saw. Oh, you can see it. Cool. This is awesome. Okay, check this out. Those two trucks right there. The truck that's closest to me says outside walls and sheets. The other one, you can't really see it, but it says inner walls. So that means. This, this, uh, the Pioneer Pavilion here, which transforms into frightening Frisco during Frightmares. Those two trucks contain the outside and inside walls for frightening Frisco. Let's go check the other pavilions that they transform during Frightmares and also see if the Rose Terrace is still here. Alright guys, so I know we've put this on the Adventure Vlog Facebook page, but if any of you want me to do like an updated version or a better version of the Lagoon History video that I did, leave a comment down below. So I lost the, the original video that I did. And I really like to do a new one because I love history. Didn't really used to love it. Like, what's the point? What's the point in history? But truly, really actually amazing. History is cool. Okay. I was almost I confused there for a minute. Like, I heard uh, right by the the gun collection, I heard a, an automated voice. I'm like, wait, did they add something to the gun museum that tells you about the guns and everything? But no, like right above the gun museum, there's the, the water slides for Lagoon Beach, and they're telling you the, the whole safety spill. So, guys, it was so hard to breathe in these things. I hope you can understand me. But yes. 
guys. Looks like the Rose Terrace is still here. So happy. And like I've said countless, countless times before, every time we go by, by, every time we go by the Rose Terrace, or to show the Rose Terrace, I always have to reiterate that it is the last remaining piece of Lake Park. I hear the sound of the new ride. It's uh, kind of like a flying carpet style ride with the fire engine. From what the pictures look like, it looked like it was like kind of like around in this area where the Rose Terrace is. So I was getting kind of worried. But look like they Oh hang on, I gotta do this guys. Gotta touch history right there. Okay. Looks like the the big grassy area that's between the bat and jumping dragon. They put in the new ride. It's a little it's in the it's the extension of, uh, extension of Kitty Land called Engine 86. That see that goes up and there's a huge loop. Let's go over and check out the the Seance House. I'm so glad, so glad they made it a, a permanent fixture. So cool. So glad they made it a permanent fixture. Let's hope this this whole this whole like social distance and stuff like fades out before the end of September, beginning of October when Frightmares normally starts. Because that is an amazing, amazing show. Also the the Julian Bamberger Fountain is drained. Sad. But anyway, they said when I first saw Seance, still, still say today, that show is up to Disney standards. That's very, very hard to do to get up to Disney standards because Disney standards are like up there. They create magic. They take you away from the world and just make you forget about everything that's going wrong in your life. You guys, looks like my primordial is now peeking up through the, the trees. You actually get like a really good view from the employee entrance. And right where, uh, this is so sad. Oh, don't kill me. I, I totally forgot the name of this ride that was right here. The two, the two water slides that were right here. I totally forgot their name, but you can see a very, very good view of Primordial. Look at that. Oh, it's going to be so awesome when that's finished. Well, down here on the south end of the park, doesn't seem like too much has changed, except for the the social distance stuff and the little marks on the ground. And here, these four, from what I saw from the queue lines, here's eight feet apart, and in between the little signs, there's a little sign that says, "Please do not stand here." So do you know what? I totally forgot. I totally forgot about in Pioneer Village. You get a 32 ounce drink. I think that's where I'm heading now because it's so stinking hot out here right now. I'm not exactly sure how hot it is, but it's not pleasant to find out how hot exactly it is. Go through all my locations. Right now, I don't have one for Farmington, but I have one for Beneful. It's pretty close. 
Chip Farm region, 93 degrees. Of course, it has been hotter. I've been here when it's been 102. So, yeah. Crazy, crazy, and I forgot how heavy this camera can be just holding it with one hand. Oh boy. You want to think of like this six pound thing would ever make your hand or arm tired. Boy, howdy does it. Oh boy. Ah, the peacocks are roaming. Peacock right here by the 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 one putting with the Mormon furniture. So the peacock noise is made by that guy right there, right back there. It's not a too bad impression. I was thinking about peacocks a lot. Okay, guys. <clears throat> I was wrong before. It's not a 44 out. It's not a 32 ounce. It's a 44. Mm. So good. Anyway, it's been a long, long, long time since I did a video. I'm not sure if I mentioned that when I first started. I'm not sure. But anyway, it's kind of good to be back love doing these videos for you guys tomorrow if everything goes according to plan i am going up to mirror lake do some video up there all right guys since we're up here in pioneer village let's go check out that self-watering tree if you remember that from a few videos back See if it's like late enough in the season that we can see it. Or the yeah. Oh, you can kind of see it. You can kind of see it. It's like right there. There's a little spout. It's coming up out of that tree. So it waters itself. And right over there, those are the, the little booths that we have during the parameters that are inside of Laguna Beach. And those railroad tracks right there that go off that way. Oh, and there's a, little, there's a pea hen right there. Look at that. And a white peacock. Look at that. Sorry guys, I get distracted easy. But anyway, as I was saying, the railroad tracks go off down there. We're part of the Pioneer Village Railroad. This was the, the office right here, the loading dock, if you want to call it that. Come out of those doors right there and board the ride. And it would go along what is now the Lagoon Trail and those bridges we crossed over were where the railroad tracks were. This guy right here, he, he's just sitting there cleaning his feathers. Look at this. Look at that. He's just, she's just cleaning her feathers. Look at that. If anybody sees a wild animal fountain in public, don't go right up to it. Please don't go right up to it. Most of them will feel, feel, will feel threatened and may charge at you or try and bite you or attack you in any way. Just keep a safe distance. If you know they're not a threat, even like with the, the peahen over there, they're not, not too much of a threat, but you want to still keep your distance and observe them, observe them from afar. 
passing by the old shooting guy right here next to Sheriff Vicey. Looks like he rounded himself up some fine flavors. Of course, I must confess, that joke was not mine. The joke was Spencer's. Miss you, buddy. So another thing that's changed here again. So the hand stamps to have these, these classy wristbands. So I'm out of breath. These masks, this mask doesn't provide too much oxygen flow. So I'm explaining why I can't talk that well. Because, you know, you can't get oxygen, your brain starts going weird. <clears throat> yeah. No oxygen equals no life. That's not good. Oh my gosh, you guys. So, so excited right now. I know I said that before, but I'm like in Pioneer Village, where there were, they just had the Pioneer Pavilion taped off, and the trucks backed up to it with a stuff friend named Frisco. Here, at, uh, I can't remember the name of the terrace, but anyway, the big terrace where they had Laguna on ice. A long time ago. They have Nightmare Midway, Fantastic Fair, they have the signs up. So excited right now. Now, even though, like, like last year, they had the Time Warp Fast Pass. How cool would it be if they had the Time Warp Fast Pass included with the Season Pass? Think about that. Anybody from the game? Higher up management that watches these. If you watch these, thank you. Thank you. Subscribe. But anyway, to have the the time work fast pass included in with the season pass. You know, it's like season passes are around a hundred bucks or so. You know, so they throw in a so I like a little, little thank you kind of pass thing, you know, for just trying to talk over the, the highly copyrighted music. But anyway, yeah, so we can throw that in for this year, the Time Warp Fast Pass. All right, guys. I think that's all I have time for for this video. That was pretty much... Like the rest of the good videos, like walk around the park and say, hey, this is this, this is this. But I figure I'm trying to start adding new videos to my channel, get it back up there to where it used to be. So if you're new here, please subscribe. If you like this video, please click the like button. Don't forget to share. And if you want, we have like shirts. I like. Adventure Fox shirts at spreadshirt.com slash the adventure vlog 2, I think. Not sure I haven't been there on there in a very, very long time, but yeah, go and pick yourself, pick yourself up a shirt or a hat. If not, that's cool too. Hopefully, see you next time on another adventure.